Okay, here we go. We are in Tuscany again, and this one is unbelievable. This one has six bedrooms and five bathrooms. Unbelievable. Wow. Wait till you see the price. Okay, so check this out. Look at this stone arch. It's so cool. I love it, right? Stunning. Yeah. Yep. So this property has multiple entrances with all of these stone arches, which it's pretty spectacular. Look at that. It's very unusual. I really like it. And look at this terrace. That view is spectacular. Seriously spectacular. Yeah, I love the stone too. And the best part is that this property is a half an hour away from Cinque Terre. How amazing is that? Let's get into it. Okay, here's the property information. This is Rico del Golfo di Spezia. It's in Tuscany. I mean, perfect. Uh, $149,000, six bedroom, five bath, 2,400 square feet. I think you could do anything you want in this house. You could have a gym, you could have multiple bedrooms, you could really set this up the way you want it to be set up, right? Absolutely. All right, so where is this? It's in Tuscany and super close to the coast. Look at that town. Love I'll it. take it. Yep. So as usual, you're in the town. What do you want to do? You want to go out to some restaurants. There's at least five restaurants in this town. And if you don't want to cook at home, there are two grocery stores in town and one is only a minute away from the property. Okay, this is Wandering with Wine. So of course we always need to see where is the winery? The winery is 35 minutes away. Salute. Salute. And if you're getting sick of being landlocked and looking at the mountains, you could head to the beach, which is only 27 minutes away. 27? That's, That's our a lucky good number. number. So how far away is hiking? It's 33 minutes away. However, Cinque Terre is 30 minutes away, and that is some really special hiking. I think this is a great property, that close to all of this, this is unbelievable. Six bedrooms, five bathrooms, a half an hour from Cinque Terre in Tuscany? What? I don't even get it. I don't understand it. So here's one shot of Cinque Terre. I mean, everyone wants to go there, right? I mean, this is gorgeous. Look at this one. Look. Ocean, mountains. Stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's quintessential Italy. That's it what you think of when you think of Italy. So check this out. You can hike all of Cinque Terre, right? You can hit all five of those cute little towns. I mean, that's something that I think everyone in their life should try and do. Oh, right? definitely. And you don't have to hike. You can take the train. And obviously there's a boat which we didn't know that. Boats, trains, hiking, and is that a bike? bike. I see a bike yep. and I also, see, oh, that is a train. That's not a bus, but you know what? You can do it any way you want to do it. It's true. All right, once again, yes, we've taken up skiing. And from this property, it's an hour and 20 minutes away. Not too bad. No, it's okay. Also, the hospital is 16 minutes away. That's better than some of these other properties we've been showing, so this is one of the best of them all. Yep, for sure. Hopefully you don't have to go to the hospital, but if you need a doctor, there is one in town, right down the street. Super quick. Tooth pain is terrible. Cavities, not good. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, 16 minutes away looks to be about a dozen dentists, so take your pick. <laughs> Tooth pick. No pun intended. Okay, that's ridiculous. Okay, five, six, that's seven, That's like eight. restaurants. Those oh, are, it's a tooth? It's a tooth. So if you're having a uh, tooth, tooth pain, if you're having a tooth pain. Yeah. And you know what? There are a dozen dentists 16 miles away. So take your pick, toothpick. <laughs> Why are there so many dentists? Look at all the little teeth on that map. What's the deal? It's kind of weird, actually. Yeah. There is a We've dental... We've never seen this before. We've never seen this There's before. There's a dental like issue. Churches. It's like churches. Yeah. There's a dental issue in yeah. this area. But anyway, you got a lot to choose from. Yeah. So you need a prescription filled. There's a pharmacy in town right down the street. Good to Boom. go. Boom. Boom. Time to send those holiday cards out. Post office, two minutes away. Our research began 
when we were trying to find one or two churches in Italy. It was very difficult. And then we came across this town. There's two churches in this town. It's amazing. All right, and how far is the airport? You actually fly into Pisa and it's only one hour, which is great. Quick and easy. Yep. So if you're in town, you wanna to jump on a train and go to either Florence or Rome, 16 minutes away. Nice and easy. It is. Easy peasy. It is, yep. And there's public transportation. The bus stop is only 20 minutes away. Perfect. And finally, here it is. Here is the house. This is the front entrance of the house, and you can see there's the main door and there's a door lower. I mean, when you have six bedrooms and five baths, some of these bedrooms have actually private entrances, which is pretty cool. You have family and friends coming to visit. Actually, it's very, very convenient. And here's another view of the house and a cute walkway behind it. Look at the mountains. So pretty. Here's just another entrance into one of the rooms in the house. So this one gives you maximum flexibility. And here's another example of the walkways with terraces. Look at the stone, the wood ceilings. I mean, that's pretty stunning right there. Yeah. I Look could, at that. Ugh. I could drink wine. Salute. Salute. On those two chairs at that table, looking at that stonework. I love mm -hmm. it. It's so pretty. This is the front entrance to the house. Let's check it out. So you go through that front door and you're in this beautiful hallway. And this space, I love that. Look at the arch, the stone, the ceilings, the floors. That's a pretty nice dining room. I could it eat is. some food in there. Maybe yep. drink some wine. Some I holidays in there for sure. Here's another shot of that space. You can see it's a pretty spacious room. And I just can't get over, honestly, the wood ceilings, that beautiful stone arch. I mean, love it. Yeah. And then you take a few steps down and you're into the kitchen. So that's nice for some people. Some people like to be separated from the dining area. So you have your own little space. You have your fridge, your cooktop, your oven. It looks like there's a dishwasher as well. The floors are different here, but it works. It's a different space, different level. Yeah. Here's another view of the kitchen. Uh, it's from a different angle. It shows that there's a lot of space in there. And also what I find interesting and acceptable and cool and neat and nice <laughs> is that there is a front door into the kitchen from the outside. Super special. A front door. Not just a, it's a front door. Yeah, it's not just a door, it's, right it's a front door. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> love it. And here is a living area. I love the tall ceilings and the wood ceilings. It's a cute space. I don't love the tiles. It kind of reminds me of old school, 1990s-ish. It's on a diagonal, which makes it a little better, but not my favorite, but. But it's you okay. could you could turn it into a, a pretty nice living room, and there is a door to a terrace, and that is your view. So I mean, okay, you can forget make it the work. floors. You the terrace view is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, I could live with the floors for that. So when you're on the terrace, you can see there's other doorways into other spaces in the home. I mean, this house is extremely flexible. It is. If you have a huge family. It would definitely work. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so when you leave the dining room after a nice, delicious meal, you head up the stairs and then you go to some bedrooms. So there's a cute hallway and let's take a look at some of these bedrooms. So here's one of the many bedrooms. So looks clean, looks cute, new, fresh and clean. There we go. I was waiting for it. There it is. I'm, I'm curious what they use this for previously. It doesn't say it on the listing, but there's a little mini fridge, a microwave. Maybe yeah, maybe it was an Airbnb families. or something. You know? Maybe. Maybe it was. I mean, it could something. work like that, I think, if somebody yeah. wanted to do that. I agree. Large family, Airbnb, mm -hmm. for sure. And this is exactly why I think it could work for an Airbnb. Every bedroom, for the most part, has an ensuite. So here's another shot of this bedroom with the gorgeous ceilings nice floors and the bathroom. So there's the bathroom. It has everything you need. It has a cute bidet and I like that. Uh, but you can make it work. You can definitely make that work. And here's another bedroom with a couple large wardrobes. Again, these ceilings are everywhere and they're so, so gorgeous. It looks like they have maybe a portable AC unit there. I'm not sure, but you know, maybe that's what they're doing there. Yeah. 
Uh, here's another shot of that space. And you can see this one as well. As Jamie said, there's an ensuite. So this particular ensuite doesn't look like someone's using it. However. It's not A++. <laughs> it's C minus, I think. I mean, I like the bucket in the shower, but it might you know. be the closet to store the cleaning supplies. However, there is a sink, there is a toilet, there is a cute bidet, and there is a shower. I want that towel. That towel must come with the place. No. No. And here is the next bedroom. Look at that beam. That is serious. Look at the stones on each side holding it in That's place. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice that. Thank wow. you. Wow. Ceilings and even a little efficiency kitchen going on there. It looks like there's a mini fridge, a... Hot plate. Yep. Make like when you have noodles. college. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and it's pretty big. You have a wardrobe in there. It's nice. Yeah. And while we're at it, Miles. Dear Miles. Thank you. You finish this off, babe. I love you too much for that. So you get the rest. Thanks. Thanks for the splash. There you go. There you go. Oh, look how cute you I'll Thanks. Take, I'll take a kiss for that. OK, here we go. Here's a different picture of that room. And you can see, again, there's another ensuite. Let's check it out. That one's pretty good. I mean, look at the wood ceiling. Uh, you have a cute bidet. And you can take a shower. So I think it's good. If no one is picking up on the cute bidet. You need to watch the video before this one from Abruzzo. Then you'll get it. And then on the top floor, there is another bedroom, or at least what the current owners are using as a bedroom. Gorgeous ceilings. They have two beds in there. There's a lot of space. You could use it for something else, I'm sure. There's another view. I mean, that's, that's pretty big. That's big. Yeah. Yeah, you can do a lot in this place. Yeah. Th this house has so much space. It's spectacular. Okay, I think we found another bedroom. And it has, click, another bathroom. An this ensuite in this. I, I'm losing track of bedrooms and bathrooms, and I think Seriously? that's a good thing, especially in Italy. It's a lot. It's crazy for that money. And look at the beam again. Yeah. That this looks like an original beam. It's beautiful. This one's special. It really is. It is. Here's a shot of another entrance to the house. So you can see you come in, you're in this cute little foyer area. It goes to a hallway, and now you go up these steps to a, are you ready? Another room that you could use for a ninth or 10th or 15th bedroom. But you won't do that. You'll use it as an <laughs> office, right? For sure. Well, unless you have a giant family and you need another bedroom. Yeah, I had triplets once, twice, and, and thrice. Thrice, yep. <laughs> and lo and behold, there is another bathroom with a bidet and a toilet and a shower and a sink. Everything you could ask for. That's a very cute bidet. Let's talk about temps, baby. How hot we can be. Very nice, very nice. Uh, you know, we do not like to be too hot in the summers. So the hottest month of the year is under 80 degrees as the average temperature. And it gets down into the uh, high to mid 60s. I mean, that's pretty nice, actually. Yeah. Coming from where we're coming from, that's exceptional. Much, much better. Yeah, we love it. Hey, babe, it's your turn. Go, go. Oh. Oh, yeah, mobile and internet. So, Wintray 5G, Iliad 4G+, Vodafone 4G+, and Tim 4G are all available in this area. And they a lot of them offer fiber options, too, for your home. And then Starlink is available all throughout Italy. So, you're pretty good. I mean, I don't know who Tim is, but 4G for Tim is pretty good. But yeah. I would say this, ready? Stay connected. Why? So you can watch YouTube. Especially Fridays at 6 p.m. Yeah, Fridays at 6 p.m. Salute. Do you Amazon? We Amazon. Does Amazon deliver? And they do. It's not super fast, but they deliver six day delivery for the majority of items. Just be organized and plan ahead. Yeah, You'll make you gotta it work. plan ahead a yeah, little bit. Make it work. Yeah. And if not, drink some wine. Salute. 
so attack. <laughs> An excuse. All right, here's our checklist for this property. There is no air conditioning. There is no fireplace. Although, I did see one of the bedrooms had a little portable AC, and I also did see that in one of those entryways there was something that looked like it might be some kind of fireplace, but there's no real traditional AC or fireplace, but we can move on past that, right? A wood-burning furnace. Yeah. That's what it looked like. Beautiful floors. There's a mix of floors throughout the house. It just depends on your style, but they can work. Tile ceilings, no. Wood beams, I mean, Wood ceilings yeah. everywhere with beams, absolutely stunning. They're just spectacular throughout Love the it. whole house. Love it. Yep. So we did see there's a terrace with a great view. So you have your terrace, you have your view. There is no garage, there is no yard, there is no pool. But you know what? With everything this house has to offer, I don't think that actually matters, do you? No. Six bedrooms and five bathrooms in Tuscany, a half an hour away from Cinque Terre. Yeah. That's amazing. Four. This price, $149,000, come on, yeah. so good. Okay, here's the property information for you guys one more time. What is the name of the town? Rico del Golfo de Spezia, right? Uh, $149,000, six bedroom, five bath in Tuscany, 2,400 square feet. That's pretty amazing, wow. I would say. And we yep. saw how beautiful that property was. We saw the outside, how many different walkways and entrances there are. It's so flexible if you wanted to do an Airbnb, if you had a large family. I mean, this, this one is really special. I don't know what else to say, except please like and subscribe. We're having fun. We hope you're having fun. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Salute. Bye.